Selectman's meeting for Tuesday, February 3rd. Ask everyone to please all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to ratify the expense warrant for 126.15 and the expense warrant for 127.15. So moved. I'll second that. Any discussion? Mm. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 I am going to pass over the selectman's minutes. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the monthly report for the fire department for January 15th. So moved. I'll second that. Or for the month of January yeah. of 2015, I'm sorry. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Before we get into announcements, um, there's really nobody here, so I will look into the camera. I would personally like to, myself and through the board, I'm going to assume, thank our highway department for a wonderful job yes. that they've been doing, oh. not only these past two storms, but you know the entire year. Anybody that drives through town, from town to town, realizes what job they do. I personally would like to acknowledge it. Uh, we do whenever they're here. Thank you very much for your service. Yes. I, I have to say also, we do. We, I think we have the best, best roads in the area town. Many, you know, you cross over the lines and you go into the other Brookfields, you see what a big difference it is. So they, you know, I'd like to thank them also for the excellent job that they do. I totally concur. Yeah. And people forget that it's, you know, it's not just yeah. a plow and done mm -hmm. like a driveway. They're out there constantly. Oh, they are. And then the maintenance. Oh, we have a Cracker Jack mechanic in there as well. <coughs> it's a great service to the town. <coughs> Announcements. Tyler. Wallen, Wallenin, District A to Senator Gobi will be holding office hours at Brookfield Town Hall on Wednesday, February 25th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. All are welcome. Any other announcements? Hearing number one, item number one. The advisory committee has taken a vote to allow the highway department to deficit spend $50,000 on the snow and ice account. I will entertain a motion to allow the highway department to deficit spend $50,000. I'll make the motion, sir. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I'm assuming this is number two. This is yes, number two. Is. Have a seat, man. <laughs> right on, right Good on timing. Time. How you doing? Good timing. Item number two is the municipal clerk's three month review. Um, seems like just yesterday. Mm -hmm. I personally, um, whenever I'm in the town hall, just an excellent disposition. Yes. Uh, work ethic is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, the money that you've saved the town uh, just in finding things. She but found a few things for yes. us. Thousands of dollars. Thank you. Yes. Um, she did. I, I can't say enough except do more. She, she's a, she does an excellent job. She's very professional when people come in. She tries to answer everybody's questions because I've been here when she's even, you know, say she's been in the office by herself. If Karen's had to step out, and she does an excellent job. Karen, you see her more, more than anyone? She, she's doing an excellent job. Yeah. You're happy? And she files. I mean, she is a whiz. She's, she's doing are you good. happy, Karen? I'm very happy. All right. Chris, are you happy? I am delighted. Excellent. Okay. I'm very happy. Also. And she's, uh, if you haven't heard, she's going to be picking up the website details. Oh, we're good. passing the baton. Excellent. Uh, we're also good. looking into, if you guys have been in the discussions for uh, changing the email server over either through the town or the school. You can handle that, right? I'll do whatever I have to. We'll learn. <laughs> it's not rocket science, right? All right, so I don't think a... Uh, a Motions needed, just uh, nope. a sincere appreciation. Thank you. Keep Thank going. Thank you very much you know, for the wonderful job you're doing for us. More, uh, the two good news. Highway Department, Town Hall, we're, we're good. Look at that. We're good. Things are going good. It's nice to have a good meeting, isn't it? We yes. love our people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have any, any comments, suggestions, criticisms for us? No, just that um, uh, the files were mentioned and those are, have been an issue. Yeah. I'm working slowly, you know, on my downtime, trying to get it organized a little bit. But we're talking, there's a lot to it. And somewhere along the line, I had um, seen that there was somebody from Tantasco that came in and helped do some filing years ago. It must have been was, several years ago. It was ago, last year. Last whatever. Year. And I'm That's sure they did a fairly good job, you know, because they did help some, yeah. somewhat. But those, they uh, really They're do. a mess, huh? Yeah. And it's really hard to just, you know, right now, keep things current what we're doing is okay but if to go backwards I mean to you know it's there's not even an index for the file on the older 
Well, yeah. make you know, work with Karen. Make sure you guys well, are on the same page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yep. have talked about it, and we've decided you know someday we're going to put a day aside, even if it's something off the the clock, and sit down because she's more acclimated to some of these things that I'm reading and what they consist of and what they should be filed versus you know me spending all this time trying to decipher what it actually is. I do need her assistance. She's pretty good at directing me. And you might want to. Uh, the, it wasn't a Tantasco student. Mm -hmm. It was actually a Quaybog student. I don't know if you wanted to give Quaybog a call or even Tantasco or see if they get have another internal here. Yeah. Individuals that are interested yeah. in coming down mm -hmm. and helping out. You know, that's like I said. On uh, my my low time, you know, I'll go over to those files and. I've got in one boxed since I've been here. <laughs> I'd like to say it's been all boxed, you know. Yeah. But um, we've got to keep the last having years in there, too. Yeah. But it's good because I get acclimated to what's in the file. So when someone's looking for something, I might be able to say, oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. So it's not, you know, yeah. it's not she did, time. She did a research project that I asked her to do, and she did an excellent job on it. She looked, It was something that went back into the 80s. She, she did an excellent job. Early she, 80s. Early 80s. She went way back and she researched it right up until, you know, she couldn't find anything more on it. Yeah. So she's doing excellent in that office. Yeah. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay. That was easy. Yeah, that was easy. I don't know why I spent in, in I, know. I didn't no need my coat coming in. I know. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're going to hang around or you take off? What do you think? I just had to sit down and read a I just got out of the hospital and oh, stopped home for a second. Work, work, work. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, item number three, town website housing uh, managing. Uh, we preluded that. Um, if you've been talking with Karen in yeah. regards to this, um, we're transitioning over to the uh, stuff everywhere in this file. Uh, to the town hall, bringing it back in house. Um, mm -hmm. I would personally like to thank the Hellers for uh, what you've done for yes. not how many us, years? Us, years? How many years? Years. years. Yeah. They've done a nice job. Um, so thank you very much. Um, when is it? When is it going to be officially? Uh, uh, we have to work on it to okay. get it, to get it up. We're working with Tantasqua, um, not only for the web hosting, but for the actual email, the server. And it's not only the work that they've been doing that saves money; it's that server that saves money as well. So thank, thank you. So that's the update for that, and uh, we'll progress with that. Any discussion on that? Are we good? We're good. Item number four, um, Commonwealth of Massachusetts Fish and Boating Access is requesting us to sign a contract that uh, basically makes the town liable for maintaining the new boat ramp, sets a few rules for that ramp. Strictly, it's going to be parking for mm -hmm. access. It's not a boat launch type stuff it's now I understand it to be a non motorized boat correct right no kayaks canoes, kayaks, canoes. nothing with a motor on it yeah. due to the fact that there's not going to be ample room there for trips right. Right. and then the town has to maintain it so mm -hmm. this is the one that'll be down by the bridge correct. the new bridge okay the new bridge okay. now the, in maintaining it do they say what's involved in that right now besides no not really. it's just everything that we've done in the past yeah okay um, we did have a meeting I don't think you guys were there we, we met a month or two ago in regards to an actual um, loss for words, a, uh, I don't want to say a ramp, but a platform. Mm. Yeah. Bring, There's the supposed state, to be a ramp down there. going to bring in a, some concrete mm -hmm. or whatnot, so yeah. if it's not there already, it's in the works. Okay. Good. So I'll cool. entertain a motion to sign said contract. So moved. I'll second that. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Any none all in favor? Aye. 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 Identical copies and signatures. Under other, we have a few items that came in uh, last minute we need to uh, go over. Um, building Police Station Building Committee has um, brought to our attention their desire for the um, in-house um, project 
<coughs> documents for that bid and they're recommending Project Dog at the expense of, I thought it was, it was on here, wasn't it, Karen? No, I, I don't think, I don't know. It was on here. I saw another correspondence. I think it was like 500. It must have been on another piece of paper. It was like 500 something. And then there's a printing expense. Yeah, right here, 550. And then printing expenses. So I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign. So move, sir. I'll second that. Any discussion? Any none all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, next item is the um, voting, the proxy vote for uh, the annual membership meeting of the uh, CCMSI, the uh, Maya. Um, did you guys take a look at these individuals? Yes, Those five I did individuals. Today. I like Ira Singer. Just How many do we pick from over? We need to pick one. Just pick one? Yeah. He's a town administrator, 25 <coughs> years. Currently serves on three boards. Mm. Have you guys looked at these? Yeah, I did today. Did you have any desire or? I'll go with the one that you went with. I think uh, he's a good experience. Mr. Thelma? Yeah. Let me take a look at that again. Sure, because I looked at it today. So when we vote, is it all three of us? It's a vote by the board, yeah. Mm. But it's not just one for... It's the only one sheet, so... You don't agree? I'm trying to figure this out, the requirements of voting. Did you remember Just look at the last sheet. Then. Well, no, but who's going to, are we going to vote amongst ourselves to put yeah. the person I'll, down? I'll just take a vote for that. I know, yeah. what if there's three different ones? Well, we have two here, so <laughs> unless you disagree. No, no, I'm just, no. I'm just saying what if, that's yeah. all I'm saying for. Um, so who are you looking at, Mr. Singer. Uh, Ms. Singer? No, Ira, second one. Ira. I'm going to go with Mr. Walto. I like his. He's got a lot of uh, experience and he was in Dalton. <laughs> well, congratulations. With the town. But it doesn't, you know, we'll have a vote. I mean, does anybody know any of these people? No. I don't know. It's. We were introduced to a few of them yeah. at the last last weekend's meeting. Actually, there's two for three-year term expiring for the remaining year. So okay. I'll entertain a motion. So we have to vote for two. Ira yes. And I just noticed. Yes. That. Okay. So I'll entertain a motion for both. I was yeah. singer and Kenneth Walton. So moved. I'll second that. Look at that. Uh, see how that worked out. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. So moved. Aye. Aye. If you can just fill that in, Karen. Thanks. <coughs> uh, next item, Mr. Uh, Chief Blanchard, uh, at the last meeting he had mentioned, uh, unfortunately we weren't able to bring it up in time, uh, his desire to have another th uh, third full uh, part-time officer. I'm sorry, we mm -hmm. gave the permission to have a second part-time officer. Unfortunately, another uh, part-time officer has resigned. Okay. That puts us in a position for three. So yeah. I'll entertain a motion to allow the chief to go out for three part-time. So officers. moved. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, before we get to this one, uh, Mr. Thomo, do you have an update on the ADA uh, situation? Yes, I do. And um, 
I checked with them. I called them up, and he suggested. I think it's Mr. Hopkins. I forget his name. Well, the last meeting we discussed that you were in contact with them, right? And yeah. You got the information. Yeah. He My, gave me the information, uh, but he's what he gave me was an information for a time variance. Mm -hmm. basically, yeah. which would allow us to proceed without actually mm -hmm. doing the work. But there has to be a plan in place for... Right. Yeah. The thing is that after checking the lease and speaking with uh, the owner of the police building, I think we should just fix it. We should just fix, make it ADA compliant. Yeah. Well, we should go along that route. Regardless of the, plan, the, the plans that we spoke in regards uh, to making it compliant with Mr. Bordeaux at the meeting that I attended, um, it was a variance as well. It didn't bring it up to full compliance because it was only access to that booking room. So the building doesn't become fully compliant. No, but it, the work should be done is what I'm saying. I disagree. I if totally if, think we should get it. That's, it's in the lease. It's We're obligated to fix it. Um, we're, we're and we should we're fix it. We're obligated to be in compliance, which that variance would allow us to do. Regardless, we're going to have to apply for a variance. That variance is a variance because it doesn't bring it up to full accessibility. I think we're talking about two different things. We're not. Well, you're talking about something that we won't be fixing it, and I think we ought to re we ought to make that. Do you, it's it's not going to be compliant. We should do whatever we were supposed to do to make it. Well, to f what we have what we would have to do is adjust doors. Right. Put, ramps Put a up. ramp up. Yes. I'm not we, willing. I'm not willing. We should so, do that. So that means that we have to adjust all the doors in there, or no, just getting no, no, in when you come in, like to where the booking room the, is. The discussion that we had uh, when we were on say we had a meeting with the state, okay. and we agreed, Mr. Bordeaux as well, that uh, we would take out the inch and a half sill, put a new door in, and bring it down. Yeah and that would allow accessibility into that booking room. Okay. Regardless, it would have to uh, go through the state with a variance because it doesn't bring the full building up to compliance. So basically, you would have to call the station and ask people to come down for access. Having, I had the discussion mm -hmm. with Mr. Hopkins and mm -hmm. I forwarded him your contact information uh, before you spoke with him. This was right out of his mouth mm -hmm. who we'd have to deal with the recommendation to do what we discussed last meeting. So I, I'm 100% going with Mr. Hopkins' recommendation. So you don't want to fix anything that no. I think we should. No, I, I think, think we're obligated to do it. I don't believe so. I, it, we, we're fi we're, we'd be in compliance with that board. I think morally we should fix it. We've been in that building for 15 years. I, I don't agree. And someone just happened to make a complaint so we've been in, we've been utilizing that building, uh, basically not I would say illegally, and we should fix it. We should fix it. But if we're only going to be in there, say for a few more months. That's why I say morally. Morally. Um, and I, can I also say something else? That this building, this new police building, is not going to be ready by the time our lease runs out. You know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we know. So yeah. okay. Um, why do you want to risk the or take the risk of upsetting the owner? I mean, if we work with him, maybe he'll work with us. We are working with him. We're, bringing, we're not we're working with him at all. Well, how does Mr. Bordeaux feel? Does he want to brought up the way Nick wants to do it, or just yes, he my, does. My belief. I spoke with him already. Mr. Bordeaux had no discussion with me on it, previous history. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bordeaux didn't want a huge ramp in front of the building, historically. Mm -hmm. that I was, spoke with him. He would like to have it done. Now he would because he realizes that the building's not in compliance. And then he well, could, we've been sitting in the building, so we're, I think we're obligated to get I, it fixed. I, I don't agree Could he all. be fined for being not, not if, in compliance not or if, the town? No, not if we apply for the time variance. Again. We have to show good faith through the state that there is a plan. What, we, what we're risking is having a problem if that new police building isn't completed on time. When it's not completed. When it's not completed and if, on time. If Mr. Bordeaux holds that over our head, then that's, I'm, I'm not willing to sink thousands of dollars into something it's, like that. I don't know how much money we're talking about. We're talking thousands of dollars. How many thousands of dollars? Thousand. Why don't I check that out? Because I really think we are obligated to fix that. I disagree. Oh, I don't. Why don't you? Well, the way I feel, why don't you check and see what it's going to cost? You know, to bring it all up to compliance. All right, and I'll check we'll with Jeff back, Taylor. Then we'll come back and take. I'll check with Jeff on. Taylor because okay. regardless, Linda, where are you at with 
If it's got to be brought up to compliance, we have to bring it up to compliance. No, I, I spoke with Mr. Hopkins. Mr. Thomo spoke with Mr. Hopkins. It's an issue of bringing it to compliance through a variance. But there is some work to be done on it to bring. It's still. No, there's no work. It's a it's a it's a time variance with the understanding that we're moving to a new location, and it also gives the ability for somebody that needs accessibility to designate a different location, which would be this building. The application that I received that he sent me requires a plan. What that was the plan of construction we, plan. That was the plan that we discussed. A construction plan. The plan that we discussed. I don't know what you had a conversation with. Him. That's what he's talking about. That's it, what the there application. Was, there's no construction involved in our conversation whatsoever. Listen, I'm telling you, if you want to, I mean, if you want to take a vote, we'll take a vote. But. Um, oh, you're going to look into a price. Well, yeah, I'm going to take a look at. I'm going to. I'm because going to check the thing, it out. The problem I have with, like you say, you know, they make other arrangements. Like say if they want to book somebody and say if it's a they need a handicap accessibility then they have to come up here and you know unlock the whole place and come in because where else can they go? We can fix this yeah. relatively easy, mm -hmm. relatively yeah. easy, without a great deal of cost. Okay. I, I disagree. With and that. I think we should do it. Well, talk yeah. to talk to Jeff and see what he thinks. <coughs> All right, um, Linda, I think. Parents, did you put that in there? Yes. Uh, I had uh, a few complaints last week. Um, the assessor's office wasn't open last week. And um, last week was the last week to get in um, abatement applications <coughs> for your taxes. And um, I don't know, seeing the town hall was closed yesterday because of the weather, if it was. Well, it had, it had to be in before February 1st, so it had to be in, last yeah, week. Last week. And I ran into the same situation. Yeah. I, I had no one to help me fill no, out the application. No one to help you fill it out. I guess one, from what my understanding was, one of them was out on Monday because there was an illness in her family. The town hall was closed on Tuesday. One of the assessors came in, but all he was he did was work, and he, it was the day that the Brookfield Citizen went out. He did the folding, and he left at 11 o'clock. So nobody was in there, somebody was, and the other one was away. So I mean, there was nobody in that assessor's office. I think somebody's got to start taking some accountability over there in that office. Mr. Thomer brought this up years ago. We and, ran into uh, a brick we've been wall. fighting for this yeah. for a while. And I know, and um, the tax collector had a, she showed me, she had a folder full of applications that she was taking. And I mean, she, she was busy enough herself last week. Um, you know, with people paying their last minute taxes and she's taking all these applications in, she's stamping them in, she's trying to ask questions and people, she's helping out people, trying to help them fill it out because she was previous assessor, but it's when not I, her, it's when, not her when job. When we brought this up last year or the yes. year before, uh, one of the assessors came out and just said they shouldn't be taking any kind of their, paper, uh, their paperwork at all. They should send them away. Well, it's hard. That's what she they told said, me. I, I, one person... I heard from, was up here five different times looking for the assessors, and they had questions to ask before they filled out I, this. I was up here twice, and I'll tell you what, if I didn't have a key to that office, to this office here, mm -hmm. I put it on Brenda's desk yeah. because I had asked her. Yeah. If I didn't have a key she to that office, me. I wouldn't have had mine in. It's that. totally unacceptable. It is. And it, unfortunately, it, they're elected officials. And, I, and, the way, can do. and the way I feel like maybe somebody, if they were around, should have come up on Thursday and opened the office up at least on Thursday and they could have taken these in if somebody was around because people are around every day of the week looking for the assessors. I have always said we don't need three people in that office. Well, we don't need three people in that office. And with the lack of coverage that we're getting, yeah. it's unacceptable. So you had brought up the idea of putting an uh, article. Yeah. Is yeah. that something you're still interested in? Yeah, I don't know if it'll do anything, but... We can try. We can try. I don't know if it'll go any place either. You know, but it's un it's. Uh, I would recommend like they should. Anybody, the town clerk, the tax collector, any anybody, Karen, they shouldn't even take anything from anybody regarding the assessor's office. I, I appreciate Brenda taking mine. Well, yeah, I know. Well, I know. I, I appreciate it, Brenda. Do I? I appreciate. She's got her own her job to do, though. You know? But what were these people going to do? Take them home. Bring it back when they're there. They're yes, there. but it's too. Would have been too late. Nobody was in at all. Then that's. It is what it is. But the thing is, I mean, you shouldn't fault uh, these people. I totally agree. It's not their fault that nobody's there in the office, and so they shouldn't shouldn't have to be. If they want to file an application for abatement, somebody should be there, and they have to be stamped in when they can. I know. And it's, I know. you shouldn't punish them. They shouldn't be punished. 
sell it. They're elected, Linda. What are you going to do? Have we talked to um, town council about this at all before? No. I think, have we? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, Michelle, I don't maybe. believe so. I know what they say. If they're elected, you can't do anything. Maybe we did. I think I have. I think you did, and he reported that. Yeah. Were you on the board then? And Nick was going to write yeah, a book, I, an article? Yeah. I think he was going to work with Mr. Siri. Yeah. Well, no, we anyways. Can, well, we can try it again and well, see. Well, we're talking about not to change the subject, but I am changing the subject. Uh, Mr. Thomo, in regards to the ADA issue, I had reached out before I passed the baton to you to Tantasqua, uh, Mr. Segan, the uh, carpentry teacher. Did he come back on you? Did he call you? No, because I basically stopped because of Mr. Hopkins' recommendation, mm -hmm. just simple and done. Yeah. Can you reach out to him to see if... Because when I talked to him, it was just about moving the door, not a whole big ramp. All right. So maybe reach out mm -hmm. to Mr. Segan as well, maybe through Mr. Wood or whatnot. Sure. Right. Are we good with the assessor conversation? Well, I don't know. We've got to do something what do we, about we, it. It's, it's, the people have to do something about it. Well, we represent the people, so if anything yeah. we can do. If anything we, we can't. We're not, we don't supervise. <laughs> but I, I disagree. We can get an article on the town meeting. Anybody can get an article. Anyways. Uh, I think that's something we should work on. Yeah, right. Correspondence uh, for Mr. Ayers. Too often a job well done is overlooked. I just want to commend the Brookfield Highway Department for keeping up to the blizzard of 2015. Not only were the streets passable in case of emergency during the storm, but they were quickly cleared and treated effectively after the storm. Thank you for a job well done. And can I add also? Yeah. Karen, did you get any uh, mailbox victims? <laughs> I was, I, I was a victim, but he apologized, and it was, it was totally because of snow. I was not a victim this no. last yeah, couple of good. weeks, and it was, yes. That's good. But mine was completely, it's, there's just so much snow out there, it's not yeah. even fun. I know why mine was a victim, but oh, okay. that's for another day. All right. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the highway department, uh, they had forwarded over, CC'd us uh, a letter uh, from the uh, two that they sent the letter to the police department, CC'd us. Uh, they took note of several uh, residents that are plowing across the road according to the town bylaw, chapter 10, section 12. Snow or ice removed from driveways, sidewalks, or private property shall not be plowed, shoveled, or blown across any public way, street, or roadway. Um, so this is an FYI. They're also uh, sending a reminder out as well uh, to please uh, take care of your um, trash carts that are down on the roadway. Uh, so we don't have to, as a snowplow operator, have to worry about dodging those. Any comments on that? Charter Communication has sent us correspondence that there will be a channel change lineup. Um, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Approximately nine channels will be changed. I thought I saw the date of March. Yeah, March 3rd, 2015. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. From Verizon, um, as the uh, New England, and this was dated before the storm, uh, winter storms, second time in a week. Any customers can contact Verizon at 1-800-Verizon, which is 1-800-837-4966, or online at www.verizon.com backslash outage to report any service-related issues, receive alert, and find helpful service-related facts. Um, I will entertain a motion uh, to regretfully accept Mr. Heller's resignation from the uh, Worcester Regional Transit Authority as a representative for the town of Brookfield. So moved. I will second that. With a letter of uh, appreciation to be sent through the board as well. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, he is asking. Um, somebody to step up uh, stating that it's, it's very very much needed uh, to have this service so if there's anybody out there that wishes to serve i believe nobody here had interest not at this time no. all right uh, so if there's anybody that wishes to travel to Worcester to be representative of brookfield for this service please contact uh, our administrative assistant uh, we had an anonymous letter dated january 20th to the board of selectmen handwritten which is nice to see in today's society the bridge to the chance to be an outstanding citizen of our town was paid for by the lives of those killed in action. I believe their name should go on it. Uh, there's a footnote, there are 11 in all. Thank you for your thoughts of this matter. Yours truly, a citizen of Brookfield. Can you forward this to our memorial committee? Thank you. 
Any comments on that? Um, any other issues before the board this evening? I'd like to approach. Yeah, well, if we didn't even have public, I apologize, Dave. It's not on the agenda. Welcome, yeah, sir. Yeah. It'll be a good wrap. Huh? It's, it's not. No. A, it's not. It'll be a good wrap up then tonight. You can note. You can notice it's not on the agenda, and I'm just a uh, glutton for following the agenda. So I apologize, sir, to both of you. Yes, sir. Welcome. Um, the, the highway superintendent came before the advisory board, and, and he's, he's, he, I think it should all be discussed with us a little bit, but it should be brought to your attention about using, he wants to use all salt through the town versus no sand over a period of time. I personally <clears> had a discussion <throat> with him, last, was he, I think it was, no, two weeks. Was it last week? When was the, when was the, uh, last week. Last week was last it? Week. When did we go to Boston? Last week. Last, last week. week. I had a conversation with a Friday. We spoke to him a week before that. A citizen actually brought it to our attention that it was happening already within mm. the center of town, and I approached him in regards to that. Um, I think he had the same conversation with you that a lot of the towns are going to it up front. The cost is there. It's more than the salt and sand mixture, but the cleanup on the back end. That's better. why I think it should be discussed. I'm just saying. So it's sixty-eight dollars for salt currently, and the sand is about twelve bucks a, a ton. But they're still buying salt to mix with the sand. Right, right now. So I mean, I don't have any. Uh, I don't so know what's saying the, either way. I don't I'm just saying. I'm just bringing it to you. What's the? You I don't three, understand yeah. what the problem is. I think it should be discussed. Well, he wants to use pure salt and no sand, so they don't have to clean up after the storms. I think Southbridge does all salt. Southbridge just changed over a few weeks ago to all salt. To yeah. all salt. I think that isn't the state even, it seems as though the state's using all salt too now. Well, they always have. That's why everything's dead along Route 9. It's not very environmentally yeah. sound, you know? It's not a very. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I don't know how, I don't, I'm, I'm not weighing it either way, but one thing is, I don't know if you can have traction if there's no, if there's no sand. I brought that to his attention. He didn't seem <clears> to I mean, not just one thing, you, you know, into the yeah. I just think it should be discussed with him and you three or whatever. Well, I had the discussion. My, my concern was the dollar amount. Well, that's, that's another, but that's so another if, discussion. If, he, if he can bring you those numbers because you guys are in charge of the budget, that's where I'd like to see the numbers go to. What do you want, do you want to see? An analyzation of okay. salt and sand. <coughs> Well, we're going to know all the, you know, clean up, we're going to know how yeah. much that costs. Well, that's I mean, his, but, clean, clean but that's, his, that's his argument, so he would have to. We've got machines for that, though. Traction, I mean, you get it, all these things have to be played into it, you know. So, oh, right, I just wanted to bring that so you, you should, you know, we'll, we'll do our part, but we're doing budgets right now, so, but. Well, that's definitely <coughs> a huge issue of the budget. Mm -hmm. um, also, when you talk about that, that budget, particularly snow and ice, we need to bring it up. We talk about this every year. You want to bring it up? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? The debt? We, we constantly deficit spend. It should just be in their budget. It should be right in their budget. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. We give them extra fifty thousand every year. No, it's, oh, I know. I'm just but it just it's kind not, of it's, it's, it's not just 50, it's just a basis of monitoring what's going on over there. That's all. You know what's what's being spent, and where it's going. Well, we can do that. So I mean, that's up to you. You know. <clears throat> That's my desire. Um, another, th another thing is you, you discussed is boat access here at the new bridge. Have you seen how, how any, I'm not a fisherman, so it doesn't bother me, but I noticed before the snow hit that it's very, very difficult getting down there the way they have that, the way they have that. I don't know how anybody's going to get in there with the, with the trailer coming off the bridge or before the What's, bridge. It, that's, Did that's you see the, how it goes in? There's no motorboats. That, that's the problem. Nothing it's with not, a motor on it. It's not meant to have trailer access. Kayaks, canoe, anything without a motor. Even getting a car down there, there's not much room for mm -hmm. a parking lot. Down there's there. going to be a parking lot over to the side. It's basically a turning turnaround and a parking lot. Where on the other side of the bri street, no. bridge, same side it's on on the That's access same side. to the river. So they haven't put that in yet. Probably not. Okay. There's going to be. Some I'm there. just saying before we get. I know what they did down in South Pond, and that's horrible down there. Unfortunately, that location is what that location is. Yeah, we raise, just, the road, we raise the road up considerably, and you have the pitch to deal with, and then only so much level ground. Okay, I'm just saying, it's diff I just noticed it looks pretty difficult. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of people were using that, so. But we, Herb and I talked about, through the state, bringing riprap in closer to the river so we'd have more of a flatter area. So they're, they're, yeah. they're definitely working on it. Parking was an issue for us. Okay. Just I, you know, I just I noticed this. So I figured I'd bring it up. <clears throat> you know, I just want to thank everyone who helped who helped me with uh, the move of the house. All the, the people in town, the, they all know who they are. The folks out there um, who worked to help me get that house moved, and and of course the town benefited too. 
we say 15,000 plus the house didn't get destroyed it's an antique house um, <clears throat> and we're still going to get tax revenue on the house as well so it's a win-win yeah. all the way across the board so I just want to say thanks to everybody that uh, went all out for me a couple yeah. committees worked pretty quick to help me out so well thank you for thank recycling you. it yep so it should work out pretty good <clears throat> Yeah, one other thing is you were talking about the assessors. We brought this up last year. Um, I brought an abatement in. I had, a, I had to see Phil. Phil was there, but he was just there for a few minutes. And I was just, I called him and he said he was going to be there for 10 minutes. So I raced down here. But he got three assessors and they're getting 25 bucks an hour. Um, we discussed this pretty heavily last year and nothing got done. I mean, if we, we got three assessors, somebody should, at least one person we should We discussed be it with your committee as well. That's, that's and, what I'm referring and, to. And we, we brought we, them in here. Yeah. And we, but uh, we, deci we decided we, not to do anything about it because they guaranteed that it was going to change. Well, no. When, with with no. the advisory committee, they said when, things were going to change. When we brought the assessor in there, oh. they, they say they're just going to do whatever. To the Board of Selectmen they yeah, did, but when we, met, when we discussed yeah. lowering their budget and whatnot, there was definitely some... And then, then they told us if we wanted another day, come up with some more money. Yeah. Well, I'm just, you know, they're servants to us. We're not servants to them. They should be there for when the people want to be there. So if we want to, yeah. I mean, if we want to deal, if we want to deal, I with mean, they're, budget, getting, they're, getting, they're getting more money than than uh, some of these people working out front in the town hall. I mean, that's, I mean, I know they know what they're doing, and it's a, it's a nice job in there. Twenty five bucks now. That's nothing to sneeze at. And then they're still getting that pay, no matter if they show up or not. Uh -huh. Some of them go on vacation on cruises together for a week or two. Uh, more than that. Yeah. So what I'm going to propose, I'm going to bring it up to the advisory board, is um, seeing that the pay's right up there. I, I, I'm going to propose that we do away with this, the elect, uh, having elected officials in there, if we can. I don't know if we can do that or not. You need a town vote. To yeah, we, we, we need a town need vote. A town would, vote. My recommendation to the advisory board is lower their budget for salary. Make it cool. Well, I, I think it. we need, I'm just, you know. Well, you guys can have a nice I mean, we, 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 talk, we talked to him last year very nicely, and we tried working with him, and we asked him to change hours. Even when one of them was running over at the school, we, I remember this discussion over at the school. They weren't going to change. Yeah. I mean, to have one night here, so nobody can get in here. They don't want to change. They, they do. don't want to change. I they mean, do have one night. One of them is in here on Wednesday till 8 o'clock. There is somebody here. Till 8. If, but, if they're here, a lot of times but they're But nobody here. was here last week, though, at all. They That's, just, well, we had that office. storm. We had a storm last Wednesday. No, that was Tuesday yes. we had the storm. Oh, was it, oh, that's right. Okay. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm not trying mm -hmm. to pick on them, but, I mean, they're there to serve the people in this town, and if they're not going to be there, then we need to do something. And, I mean, we've approached them, and we talked to them nicely. You have, and the advisory board did. And nothing got done. So, I mean, I mean, tw you know, they just... It's, they're getting a check every week, no matter what. If they're there or they're not there. They don't. They're getting a check. So, yeah. all right, I'll bring it up to the board and see what they, you know, what they recommend. Right. We'll go from there. All right, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Next. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I just wanted to say um, it's nice to hear and it's nice to actually meet the, the clerk who's actually going to take over the town website. Uh, roughly six months ago, I brought this to my group's attention that we should uh, change hands with the website and the email system. So we've been talking about it every month, and I'm very happy to see things are starting to roll on your end of it. I think we've been discussing it the same amount of time yeah, as well. Probably. Um, but I've, I've been talking with Cody, and now we're passing over here, right. and Derek as well. I don't know if you have the same conversations with Cody and Derek. Uh, no, I haven't, no. Uh, but I, if Karen and I can kind of stay in touch with this whole thing, I'd be really appreciated. Because as we go through the contract and, and through the rest of the year and moving forward, there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to be doing. And handing over the website would be a big help so we don't have to you know kind of like take care of that however the as you and I had discussed once before the Dreamweaver that's running on now that that's going to be a little, a little bit of a learning curve however we do have a lot of ideas to switch that and well that's what we've been talking about correct. recently is mm -hmm. going to different and kind of revamp the, the town website because it, it needs it 
needs a real So if you wanted to have a conversation, sure. that's that's the person to speak to. Yeah, absolutely, right anytime, you know. And then Cody is going to be in on that conversation as well through right. his recommendation. So whatever you guys, you know, want to do, we're, my group is there to help until we're not there anymore. We don't need to be in there yeah. anymore anyways. So that's thank you. basically thank you. all I want to say, you. just to make sure, just, just so you guys know what we're doing. All right. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any further business before the board? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. No, second that. Do we have any discussion? No. No, not any? None. Nada. None? None. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Let's wait. Mm -hmm.